BAM! Welcome guys to another one-on-one -on, -one on the Didi BAM BAM indicator. In this session guys, I'm going to talk to you about the margin call 2.02 indicator. That is this part of the indicator. In this screen now guys, you can see the three indicators the Didi BAM BAM is built on. It's the margin call 1.04 with the flags, the red and the green flags and the cloud. You have the margin call 2.02, this one, and you have the DD bam bam down below on this chart. If you take a look at this image, you can see the names of each of the indicators. So the margin call 2.02 is built up out of these indicators. The DD bam indicator is built up out of these indicators. If you want to change the settings of one of the indicators, and today we're fo focusing on the margin call 2.021, you click on this wheel over there, this is what they call the toolbox, and then this pop-up screen will appear. In this menu, you guys, you have two tabs. One tab is the input tab, that is this one. This one is selected at the moment. These are the numbers you put in to get the results in this margin call. This is a standard setting. I would leave it like this. Only when you are a pro, and maybe even if you get, get our guidance, we can change them for you if you want to trade in a different way. Then you also, guys, have the style tab. That is this one over there. If you click the style tab, you get a different menu down below. I wouldn't fiddle with these settings, guys. I would leave them as they are. These are the colors we use in the margin call 2.02 indicator. As you see down below, the green the light green, the dark green, the yellow, the blue. So please leave these settings as they are, because this is how you can understand what we are sharing with you on the Discord server or in the daily videos, because then everybody has the same settings. I'm just showing you that you in the future could change the colors if you get experienced in using the DD Bam Bam indicator and the margin call indicator. All the values, guys, of this indicator, you can see them in the top of this bar. So this is the margin call 2.02 indicator. The values are behind the name. This is the name, and you see the values. You can see the values of the Trinity lines, these three lines on top here. We call them the Trinity lines. Coming back to that later, but you can see the value of each line. You can see the green value line, the green lines value, the amber lines value. You can see the red lines value. So you can read all the values from here. The red dots over there, you can see the values. You can see the values of the beach, you can see the values of the hills, you can see the values of the sea. All the values you read on the top of the screen. Please be aware, it is the value on the place where you click or hover your mouse. So if you would hover your mouse in this area, it's the value on this moment. If you would hover the mouse in this area and you click here, you see the value of that moment. That's very important to understand. In this chart, guys, you see the effect of the hills, the grass, the sand, and the sea. With a 20 slash 0 slash minus 20 corridor being the point at which the flags become relevant. What does this mean? It means that the zero level, you can see over here, this level is zero, this line. That one is important. The plus 20 level, that one is important. That's around this one here. And the minus 20 level that is around here is also important. I'm going to try to explain why it is important. Any short flag that appears when the hills are above the sand holds a value higher than plus 20, so plus 20 or above, consider it as a bearish momentum without support. Unless in the next candles that minus 20 figure continues to the negative side, Basically, the hills and the grass turn to sand and see for the bulls to go and play while the bears hit the market. The bulls love the hills and the grass. The moment the hills and the grass turns into the sea and the sand, guys, over here, this is when the bulls leave the market. This is the moment that the bears take over. The level of 20 is very important. On the other hand, guys, if we look at the beach and the sea, if there is a long flag appearing, like you can see over there, when the sand and the sea holds a value higher than minus 20, it is, because minus 20 would be over here, but we are at the moment over there, we are at minus 50. You can see the value over there, minus 52. So if we see this long flag, 
and the sand and the sea holds a va value higher than minus 20, so that this yes, minus 50 at the moment, consider it as a bullish moment without support, unless in the next candles the 20 figure continues to the positive side. Basically, the tides come in then, and then the sand and the sea turns into the hills and the grass. So as this moment is at minus 50, and you see a long flag, that would not be the safest long to take, because there is no support. On the other hand, if you see a short flag over here, and this one is above 20, which it is, it is around the level of 75 at this moment, it's not below 20, it's above it, it's not a short at that moment, because there is no support for the short. The moment the grass turns into the beach, that is when the support is there for the bears, and that is when we take the short. The other way around, the same over here. The moment you see this long flag, and this level is at minus 50, there is no support for the long. This level needs to be higher, around 20, or preferable around zero, and then we have a safe long to take. Hope it is a little bit clearer. If not, comment down below or ask some questions in the Discord server. We are happy to help you over there as well. Now let's take a look at the Trinity line. The Trinity lines are the three lines on top of this margin called 2.02 indicator. So you have the red line, you have the amber line, and you have the green line. These lines are important because we need to understand how to use the position of each line in relation to the other line to alert the user of the potential moves in the asset's value. You can see these Trinity lines like a traffic line. When the green is on top, then the amber is on below that one, and the red is below that one, you can see it as crossing the street on a safe way. Because the green is on top, the amber is in the middle, and the red is in the bottom, so we can take this crossing very safely, but still, of course, we need to cross this junction with care. If, for example, the red line is on top, then the amber line, and then the green line, also handle it as a traffic light and then you stop because the red light is on top. Stop and look at the rest of the market and of the rest of the indicators to get a better picture on what is happening on the market before you enter that short or long. That is why the Trinity lines are very important guys. Always check if the green line is on top, the amber line is second, and the red line is in the bottom, or if it is the other way around. If it is any other variation of these three lines, treat it as suspicious and don't trade at the moment, because then probably the market is too flat, because then the market is, has not decided in which direction to go, so probably better to stay off the market, stay off the streets, when there is another variation of these three lines. In this chart, guys, without the chande and the PPO, um, you show the movement in the market, but not the mood and the commitment. So now we can see the movement of the market because of the lines. You can see the lines going downwards, so that is the movement of the market. But you can't see the chande momentum, and you can't see the percentage price oscillator. So when we deselect these two guys, you don't see the hills, you don't see the grass, you don't see the beach, and you don't see the sea. So you can see the movement of the market, but you can't see the mood and the commitment. Now we added the momentum back, and you can see the level of support for each move, and you can add the PPO again to see the things really become clear a little bit more like this. So this is the perfect settings if it is up to me, but if you want to play around with this, you can do it, of course. It is all up to you to push the buttons. It's all up to you to make the decisions. It's just an indicator. We are no financial advisors. We are just showing you how we interpret the charts and the indicators. When you add the percentage price oscillator, the sentiment of the market comes into play. Don't mix the mood and sentiment. Google each word to see the meaning of it. Because news will affect the mood and FUD slash FOMO will affect the sentiment. To understand what each of these indicators does, Google each in turn. You will probably find the result on Investopedia, which is a wealth of knowledge when it comes to trading, 
indicators and reading the charts. Now the chart guys is all back to how it was in the beginning. I hope you really enjoyed this one-on-one -on -one training on the DD Bam Bam indicator and the margin call 2.021. If you have any questions, please comment down below the video or visit the Discord server where you can find more information. If you want to sign up your friends to the Didi Bamman indicator, just send them to didibam.com and please tell them to use your email address as a referral because then we will incentivize you for bringing us new clients. I hope you really enjoyed this one-on-one -on, -one on the Didi Bamman indicator and hope to see you in the next training again. Bye!